The Veterans Memorial Chargers will soon be Corpus Christi bound after advancing to the semifinals final, uh, championship. We caught up with the players about how they were able to get the win. Channel 5 Stephanie Rosales is live now in Brownsville and tickets just went on sale this morning. Steph, how quickly did they sell out? The tickets were gone in an hour and a half, Deontay. A total of 5,500 tickets were sold. It's an exciting moment for Texas high school football, not just for the Chargers and Brownsville ISD, but really the entire Valley. We saw that strong support here at Sam's Memorial Stadium when the bleachers filled up last week, and it's that support the team says is keeping them going. Red, white, and blue fill the hallways of Veterans Memorial Early College High School as the Chargers head to the fifth round of playoffs. Right now, it's the calm before the storm. It feels great with all this uh, support that we're getting, and it keeps us on, on our toes, too, because, yes, we're getting the support, but we also got to stay humble, stay focused, because we got to accomplish what we need to accomplish. The team's quarterback says the ride is far from over. My mentality right now is just like, I'm going to go hard for these guys. Like, um, I'm not going to give up. The Veterans Memorial Chargers are up against the Smithson Valley Rangers on Friday. It's time to get prepared. We have practice throughout this whole week, early morning practice, and then we have weight room and film. We just need to watch a lot of film, need to get to know these guys, because we don't really, really know nothing about these guys. We've never played them before. Gilbert Trillo says it's the support that helps keep the players going. He felt it after the historical win against the Corpus Christi Bucks. We were so excited because the fans were excited. You know, We did it for not just Brownsville, but for the whole RGV. The team has a couple of days before heading up to Corpus Christi. As the day gets closer, the support only gets stronger. We believe in you. There has never been a doubt in my mind and in the minds of the parent, minds and hearts of the parents. We know that no matter what happens this weekend, we've already won. Melissa Barrera Sosa is a teacher at the high school and a member of the football staff. Her son also plays for the Chargers. To see these kids shine and to live up to and surpass the expectation has just been amazing to watch. The team says their priority is to stay focused and keep the faith. That's what we've been having since, uh, since the beginning of the season. We had a rough start in the beginning with the first three games, I think, and we, uh, we just kept on believing. We're obviously going to give it our all. It doesn't matter what down it is, no matter what play it is, we're going to give it our all and the outcome will come in itself. Brownsville ISD will be having an early dismissal this Friday. The big game will kick off at 7 p.m. at the Buccaneer Stadium in Corpus Christi. Live in Brownsville, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6.